going to be teaching you how to do CPR for an adult. So we know that um, if you work in a healthcare field, you could always come across someone who is in cardiac arrest. And one of the things we do is to perform CPR for somebody who's in cardiac arrest. So here are the takeaways for today's video. I am going to be demonstrating to you how to use a packet mask with a one-way valve. I will also demonstrate to you how to use the ample bag. I am going to show you how to check responsiveness, how to give 30 compressions, and give two breaths. So that being said, let's dive into the video. So the first thing you want to do when you come on a scene and you find a patient unresponsive is that you want to tap the, the, the person. Are you okay? Are you okay? He's not responding and he's not breathing. What is the next thing you want to do? You want to shout for help, call 911 and grab an AED. The next thing you want to do is to place two fingers and gently palpate the, the carotid artery. Palpate it for five to 10 seconds. If there's no pulse, you want to start compression. So the American Heart Association recommends that you place one hand on the lower half of the chest bone and you place the other one on top and then you give 30 compressions. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So you give 30 compressions and then you want to give two breaths using a packet mask. So you place the packet mask. I hope you can see because sometimes I got to position the camera in a certain way. So you put it here, create a seal, lift it up, and you give two breaths. One. Two. So you give 30 compressions and two breaths, and you're giving five cycles. Every 30 compressions, you want to give two breaths. And you don't want to give the breaths too hard. You don't want to um, cause hyperinflation of the lung. That's when gastric juice enter into the stomach and cause the stomach to um, kind of be distended. You don't want to do that. You want to give it nice, like how you will take in normal breath. So 30 compressions, two breaths. You're pushing down. The American Heart Association um, 2015 update recommends that you push down two and a half inches. You want to push real hard and you want to keep your elbows straight. So if a second rescuer comes in, you're going to be using a ambu bag. One rescuer will be giving 30 compressions. The second rescuer will be placing themselves at the head of the patient and you use the E C clamp technique. So lift it up, form an E C one, two. See as you're giving it, it's rising, the chest is rising. One, two. One rescue will be given 30 compressions. The second rescue places him or herself at the head of the patient and give two breaths using the EC clamp technique. So guys, um, I hope you like this short video. It's not a long video, it's very simple and you know, it can save a life. So, you know, if you're new to my channel, please consider um, smashing that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up, like and share these videos and um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'm out. Bye for now. Ciao.